Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and makes you feel really good, okay? So today we're talking nuts. We're talking pistachio, we're talking almond, we're talking almond blossom, we're talking hazelnut, all things nuts. So I really do enjoy fragrances with nuts in them. I find I really enjoy like almond blossom, or the sweeter side of nut, like when it becomes praline or praline, when they take a nut like hazelnut or almond and cover it with sugar and roast it with like caramel and all that and it becomes like this praline like flavored nut. Okay, I absolutely love um, when you have the sweeter, more floral side of the nut, like the flower of the nut, and it brings out a scent that's similar to like heliotrope or iris with the more powdery side of nuts. So yeah, I really like almond or nutty fragrances. I went through my fragrances and I kept thinking to myself around the beginning of summer, I really want a lot of more nuttier fragrances to my collection for fall, but you girl got a few. So if you're interested in seeing the few that I have in my collection, just go ahead and get to it. Before we begin, the question of the day is what almond or hazelnut for fragrance would you suggest for the upcoming season of fall all right let's get started this one right here is called almond harmony it is from the house of oud this is a beautiful almond fragrance i believe this has almond and almond blossom it actually has a sharpness and coldness of heliotrope when i smell this i would say this has maybe vanilla maybe some florals to it but this is very sharp and like a sharp, I see white fragrance with like hints of heliotrope, almond blossom, almond, but the almond is, is an abstract, extract. Do that every time, almond abstract, almond extract, whatever, you know what I mean. This is strong, this is really good. I think it's good for, you know, spring, especially those who have cooler, cooler spring weather. Definitely for me, it, it leans more cold than fall. Fall is more warm to me, like warm, cozy, or cool, cozy. This right here is a little sharper, brighter. It just smells like cold, cold almonds, more than roasted almonds, you know what I mean? So this is beautiful, this is good. I definitely suggest this fragrance for those who like an almond forward fragrance. You'll definitely get it from this. So this is Almond Harmony and this is from the House of Oud. Y'all already know, this is like one of my favorite Odie the Goodies. I used to buy these bottles when I would see them on sale. This is my last bottle and this is from Guerlain or Guerlain. And this is La Petite Noir or Fresh or Frenchy. This is a beautiful scent. Like. Spring, this is just brings me joy, spring and summer. Like this is Saturday morning spraying on my sheets. This is me spraying myself Saturday or Sunday morning when I'm running to Costco to go grocery shopping. This is clean, this is green, this is pistachio, this is hazelnut. And it also has like, there's something else in here. It's definitely, you know, florals and like your musk and woods, but this is so good to me. I really enjoyed this. I would say about four and a half, five hours on skin. I'm going to spray it though, just so you know. But I really enjoy this on warm days on my sheets. I love this scent. It used to be my clean, my cleaning fragrance. Like when I would set my sheets on weekends, this would be the automatic when I spray. Yeah, it's good. It still, it still has that girl on aspect to it that you get from La Petite Noir. It's just not as dense. It didn't have that density and it's more bright and light and, and fresh. This is beautiful. So very beautiful, light, fresh, airy note with the pistachio, the hazelnut, some florals, something sweet in here and powdery too. Very pretty. I love this fragrance. So definitely check this out. La Petite Noir, oh, French or freshy, something like that from the house of Guerlain. Next up is Choco Violet. I love this scent. This is from the house of Mancera. Beautiful fragrance, chocolate violet fragrance, right? So when I see this fragrance, I see a milk chocolate bar, but it's sweet. And it has hazelnuts in it, but the hazelnuts have been roasted and lightly sweetened, like maybe with like a brown sugar, and then it's mixed into the bar. Like you would eat like a chocolate bar with nuts, but the bar is purple. That's what I see when I smell this, like a violet chocolate bar. 
This smells so good. This is so addicting. And the hazelnut, that chocolate, and the violet together is just, I have nothing else that smells like this. It Once again, this has that sharpness to it from the nut, that coldness, the sharp coldness. So I like to wear this during the summer sometimes. You know, it's hot because it smells like cold to me. And um, I will wear this in the winter as well. But I love the scent. I just will wear this whenever I feel like it. It's a very good scent, very alluring. Just makes you want to keep smelling and smelling it. So yeah, this is Choco Violet and this is from the House of Mancera. This is Camra. Now I know Camra has a nut in it. And this is from Matafa. I don't remember the nut. Maybe it's almond, maybe it's hazelnut, but there is a nuttiness with cognac. There's a nuttiness in here. You can smell the nut definitely. Yeah, there is like, it's like nutty and vanilla and cognac and it's good. So maybe, maybe it's hazelnut. Yeah, maybe it's hazelnut, but I can definitely smell it. There's a roasted nut, but it's not sharp like these almonds. It's more warm because of the liqueur that's in it, the cognac. Love this. This is Karma from the top of. Definitely check this out if you have him. I recently saw this on Jama Shop, I think, for $40. The price is going down, so definitely check it out before the fall season comes around because this is definitely like one of those warm hot toddy like drinks or like you know when you have like the nightcap type of drink that's what this reminds me of the warmth of like nuts and cognac and yeah this is really good definitely check this out come right from the top of. i remember when i bought this fragrance from the cosmetic company store i remember looking at this fragrance and i remember saying wow this is tonka lavender and almond and I bought it and fell in love with it, but, but for the longest, I was like, eh, it's all right. I've had some samples, it's okay. But once I wore it and like got like full wears out of it, I really enjoyed it. So this is from Jo Malone and this is Marin Tonka. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I mean, you can't, this is a softer side of an incense, right? A softer mirror, mirror. And that almond with the lavender is so beautiful in this fragrance to me. I absolutely love this scent. Really good scent. This is definitely one of the fragrances that when the bottle's empty, I would buy another one. Basically, if I saw this at the cosmetic company store for the price I paid for this the first time around, I would just buy it. It would be in the box until this one was empty. Cause this is that fall scent. This is that lighter winter type time scent. I think for those who have extreme cold temps, this would probably get a little lost but this is a beautiful fragrance. I think you would enjoy this in fall and spring. And yeah, this will probably be like my scent of the night. I'm actually going out tonight. I really enjoyed the scent. I have the oil that I buy from the scent for you. And I bought the oil, I want to say from Fragrant Body Oils too. I bought this oil twice. And I like to put the oil on with like my almond oil and then spray this all over to give it that extra longevity. Cause you know, I have a, issue with Joe Malone fragrances lasting on me. But this one does pretty well, about six hours or so. And this is Mira Tonka from Joe Malone. So this is Ellie Saab and this is Girl of Now. And it's something about the almond, the almond blossom that does it for me. I say it all the time, this is like sweet and dense and sexy and so feminine. But the almond is, is in here, like several times over. The blossom is so beautiful. It's like, they're not roasted. They're like almonds and either agave. I don't want to say honey because it didn't have, it, it's kind of like honey, but more the sweetness of agave. I love this scent. This is beautiful. The more I let it sit in my cabinet, the darker it gets. I promise y'all, the better it gets. I go open this sometime to make sure, okay, you haven't gone off on me, have you? And it just gets like louder and sweeter. It's like the almond is just sitting and soaking up all things sweet and sticky and yeah, I love this. So this is Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. I've said this before. This is one of my like favorite bottles. I love this glass bottle. This is Lalique Soleil. And um, Lalique is a glass company. Beautiful company that makes beautiful vessels as well as beautiful fragrant bottles. But Lalique Soleil. Lalique Soleil is a mixture of everything. And not until recently, I started to smell more of the white flowers and more of the nuts. 
For the longest, I just would say it is a beautiful scent. I can't pick out a note in it. It was just like a mishmash of notes, but it would all come together as something light and floral and like almost everyday scent, like an everyday nice, a work appropriate scent, like very just feminine. And in the last couple of months, I was online trying to add all my fragrances into like this database, right? And I remember saying, this has nuts. This has nuts. That is that smell in here. It is a nutty scent, almost lightly roasted, right? With florals. Like they just took a bunch of like white florals and some roasted nuts and kind of like mixed them in together and threw a little musk, maybe some more sugar, maybe um, some taco. It's like a lot in one bottle. This has a lot of notes. But yeah, now, I get notes I've never gotten before. This is my second bottle. And I've got, I have notes that I can smell that I've never smelled before. It's so weird. But anyway, this is Lalik Soleil. So if you want to try a like softer side of almond, a more feminine side of almond, no sharpness, just very smooth, buttery like um, nut with some florals, definitely check out Lalik Soleil. I want to say, I don't remember, I don't remember if I grabbed it anyway, because this is what I think of when I think of sharp almonds, and it is Black Phantom from Killian. Still have not bought the bottle, girl. I ran up on the bottle on drama shop the other day, and I put it in the basket. Well, by the time I got through like looking around at other stuff, it was gone. I think it had like one or two left, and y'all got those, okay? But that's okay. So this has to have Something in it, I know it probably has heliotrope, right? But there's, I want to say it's heliotrope and a nut. And uh, yeah, this is, this is so good. I can smell it right here. This is so different. But it's like the nut, the heliotrope, like, is it like hazelnut or almond? I don't know, but it's like, this is what I smell. I smell like heliotrope, like almond. I smell hints of like coffee or something dark like chocolate. I smell like purple flowers. It's really weird, but I, I'm, I'm obsessed with this. And I know they say it's a masculine scent, but there's something about the dry down for me that just blossoms. It's like beautiful purple flowers with chocolate and almond and heliotrope. It's so good. Yeah, I really enjoy this. This is another one of those cold scents. So it's cold, like metal cold. So I, I feel like it's more like winter for me. It's not fall cozy for me, but I just keep these in my purse and go from there. But I love this and I need to just finish it up. It's halfway done anyway. <laughs> Black Phantom from Killian. Well, one of my favorite nuts back in the day it used to be like hazelnuts and like cookies. I don't know what that was about. Or hazelnut, shaved hazelnuts and like chocolate. I don't know, but Anyway, I like the scent of hazelnuts. Now I don't really too much like to eat them, but in this, it's good. So this is Roses Berberanza. So we know it has other notes like ginger and it has like a cognac or whatever, but there is a prominent hazelnut in here. You're gonna get nuts. You're gonna get the liquor, the cognac, and you're gonna get like vanilla and like some sharpness of ginger. Like literally makes your mouth water when you first spray it. Very mouth watering. I cannot describe this scent. It's like, uh, I used to say a hot toddy. I used to call this the hot toddy like spray, but it's much better than that. It's much better than that. This is beautiful. I love this. This is from the Maison Lancome um, line. And this is Roses Berberanza. All right. This is funny to me. When I hear people talk about this fragrance, I hear it from Laura Mercier, and this is Ombre Vanille. There's a couple people I've watched do a review, and they say, oh, we like it. It's cheap. Get it from TJ Maxx. It'll last two hours on you. I don't know where you got your bottle. This is probably like my third bottle. And now I've had this one for some years now. And this thing right here in the humidity in Texas amplifies. It gets loud. If I overspray this, I can smell this as I move around at least four or five hours. Like it gets loud on my skin. So I don't know what that's about, but this is Ombre Vanille from Laura Mercier. And this is like, 
almond and vanilla. Almond and vanilla. Like, I really need to go ahead and get the body cream. It's not that much left. I haven't seen this. Look at this. I haven't seen this at TJ Maxx in forever. But I definitely need to just uh, bite the bullet and pay for a, a real bottle online with the body cream. So the body cream is really good. And I haven't had that in a couple of years. Uh, all her body creams are really good. Like the texture for Laura Mercier. But this is a beautiful scent. I'll be on the hunt for more of these come the holiday season. Hopefully it pulls some of these out. But... Yeah, just think of like almonds and vanilla, some powdery notes, and yeah, it's a little hint of sharpness, but I wear this a lot, uh, evidently. I mean, this is like, I used to keep a bottle of this in the car for just in case, but this is a beautiful scent. Once again, Ombre Vanilla from Laura Mercier. All right, I had to look this one up, but when I was trying to get, gather these fragrances together, this is the only one where I was like, I don't know the notes of this. Well, it's a couple more I, I wasn't sure about. I'm basically just trying to tell you about smell. This one I knew was a nut. I just didn't know what nut. I kept saying hazelnut in my mind. But this is more of like lavender, vanilla. This is chestnut and like cognac. This is so good. This is called frustration. And this is Atelier de Orange. Oh my goodness. This is so good. When I first got this bottle, y'all was so excited. I know you probably remember if you've been around for a while. If you knew friend, when your girl got this bottle, she lost her mind. Let me show y'all. So it, this bottle right here, I wore this last fall like crazy. So, and I would have gotten this like the end of fall. And I, yeah, I can't wait. Soon as the temperature just peeks through and says, I'm about to drop. When it's about to drop, she's about to spray. I already know come winter, about half this box will be gone. But this is good. It's unisex, and but it's soft good. It's almost like, it's almost soft like the texture of suede. It's soft good, but it still get a little projection. It's the vanilla mixed with cognac and chestnut. Cognac, yeah, and chestnut. This is good. Love this one. This is called Frustration. The bottle is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I love the etching right here on the side. I love this. This is gorgeous. Definitely check this out if you can. I know for this particular fragrance, you can get a sample from Twisted Lily. If you want to try it out, you can use my code HelenH10. Save you a few coins. But they definitely have this on their site. So I think that's probably about the only one you can grab a sample from Twisted Lily, I want to say. The rest of these, I think you're gonna, well, they might have Choco Violet, for example, they may. But the rest of these, you're gonna have to try to like double dabble, find samples of if you wanna try like some nutty scents. But I wanted to share with you some nutty scents I thought were like unisex, some are like feminine leaning. Some of them just really good, sweet, beautiful, sexy scents, okay? Like they say, these nuts, all right? I'll see y'all next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Do me a favor and click like if you like this type of video. Make sure you're subscribed. Go ahead and look down at the subscribe button. If it ain't highlighted, friend, you need to highlight. Do the drop down button. Go ahead and click all so you'll be notified each and every time I do an upload. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace and blessings.